This is what has been trending in Kenya. Starting this off on a very high note, a wedding gone wrong in Kisi. This is the same. I feel in the bamba will open sale the same. What? Faith Kipiagon did it again. She won gold at the Atlas New York Marathon. And, and she also broke her own record, but not record ya race. Ali break record ya ku ya do. On this race, I'm a part of the highest amount of money she has ever gotten from any other race. 7.7 .7 million Kenyan shillings. Oh my god! Wow! And now that we are on the weekend, uh, Leonard Omusula has a message for you guys. Bwana, wacha nini na pombe? And Masita Ruz appeared in court today, uh, accused of contempt of court, like uh, ignoring the court. About three weeks ago, Masi Alikosa ku appear in court after being summoned as a witness ko ile kesi ya kina mandago ya uh, Finland scandal. I also alionesho video aki ongelea i kesi outside of court. Alione, alikuwa pale kwa muaf pale kwa iko nini podcast aki ongelea uh, the case of which you are not supposed to talk about a, a, an ongoing case outside of a court. But also the Ministry of Health earlier today ilikuwa na meeting ya SHIF and uh, Kenyans wali amwa kuingia pale kuvuruga yes wali ingia pale eh, chanting reject and we reject we reject they were shouting reject 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 and uh, this led to the Ministry of Health uh, suspending, I'm postponing the meeting to until another day. And on the next episode of Keeping Up with MP Peter Salasia, uh, he has already moved on from Huda. Like, ameacha kubishana na Huda. Now, ameingilia Andrew Kife. Yes, Andrew Kife alisema that Peter Salasia ni fala. And uh, Peter Salasia ha ku take it lightly. Ali respond by saying that. Peter Salasia anaita Andrew Kibe akuja muandike kazi kwa spa yake atakuwa na mulipa 100,000 Kenyan shillings because anasema that content creation hayezi mupea 100,000 Kenyan shillings in a month. Salasia ni kama mesao S550. S550. Also, President Ruto yesterday in CNN addressed his decision to deploy troops to manage protests in the Gen Z protests that were happening uh, a couple of months ago. Protests are part of our democracy. The freedom of people to associate and to choose what to do. And that is perfectly in order. And Restoring law and order is also the responsibility of law enforcement agencies. What was in Nairobi, apart from the protests, were criminal gangs that burned down parliament, burned down the chief justice office. UK rapper RD arrived in Kenya this morning ahead of his performance this weekend at the Walker Town concert. He has also hinted that he may be working on a project with Brooklyn Boys. Yes. Well, yeah, yeah, I know they're making some noise over here and we spoke to a couple of them, so yeah. Like I said, you'll see it. Yo, 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 yo. Like imagine a project between RD and Brooklyn Boys. This means that Brooklyn Boys were an international you guy. And also Safaricom CEO Peter Ndegwa hinted on a potential partnership between them and uh, Starlink, Ilya Elon Musk. Netizens are not happy about this decision. When I say that Safaricom itself should be its own entity and Starlink its own entity because uh, competition in Afanyanga was so on Afanya job. It's only been a month since uh, Starlink in Ifika, Kenya, and by now Safaricom has ongeza their offers. Uh, they are now offering 1 GB per second at 20,000 Kenyan shillings. One G yeah, 1 GB per second at 20,000 Kenyan shillings. And also, easy offers out in Guinness about it. Zote is meongezwa. Like, okay, price is meongezwa, but uh, speed is meongezwa. So, you see, Starlink inafanya wasa, inafanya kazi. Kama sijatangaza kitu, na ulione kitrendu, wejo watiko kwa Telegram channel yangu. Link ndo yu hapo kwa bio. And until next week, guys, peace out.